Last week we broke new ground on a brand new show that we brought to you. We were proud to do it. We showed you what we did. A lot of hard work and sweat and tears went into it. This is the second week of our show. This is Marquette Basketball Weekly. I'm your host, Brad Galley. In just a few short days, our MU TV crew will be here at the El McGuire Center setting up for the Super Bowl of our TV calendar, Marquette Madness. It's the first chance for you, the fan, to come out and see your Golden Eagles in action. Now, this season, there's a lot of uncertainty surrounding this team. We know that. There's a lot of questions as well. So we had an exclusive sit-down with head coach Buzz Williams to get you the answers to the eight burning questions surrounding this Golden Eagle team. Buzz Williams inherited a team of veterans last season and enjoyed a tremendous amount of success with them. But with James, McNeil, and Matthews all gone, Williams has brought in six of his guys to fill the big shoes of the big three. Burning question number eight. How has Buzz Williams adapted to coaching a roster almost entirely made up of newcomers? It's been really fun, to be honest with you. Uh, obviously, the, the loss of those seniors, those were guys that have been around the game much, much longer uh, than the group of guys that we currently have. But it's been a lot of fun. You have to make sure that what you teach is what they understand. You have to make sure that what they understand is what you teach. It's a really good lesson every day as a coach to make sure that the words that I'm using uh, are also the pictures that they have in their their mind uh, of what we have to do in order to execute. Lazar Hayward will be called upon to help all of the aforementioned new players. The only returning starter to this year's team is also garnering much national attention. Burning question number seven, just how special of a player will Lazar Hayward be this season? I think he's a better kid than he is a player, and I think uh, anytime you want to be a lead in any field, if your character is such that you can do that, uh, hopefully your skill set will be able to match it. Is he a first-round pick? Is he an NBA pick? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't even plan to think about those types of things, and I think the best thing about Czar, he doesn't think about those things either. If we have a chance to be competitive, it'll have to be because of his ability not only to do the things that he does as a player, but his ability to lead our team. Lazar makes the most of his 6'6 frame. Another player blessed with the build of a linebacker is Jerron Maiman. After putting up phenomenal numbers in high school, Marquette fans expect a lot from him at the next level. Burning question number six. Can Jerron Maiman's high school dominance translate into Big East dominance? I think that his body says that he can, uh, but you know, there's a lot of guys that look great, uh, play like Tarzan and uh, look like Tarzan and play like Jane. Uh, I don't think uh, Jay May is one of those guys. His body has continued to get better uh, through the summer and through the fall. Todd Smith has done an incredible job with him, um, and he does. He, he is similar in a lot of ways as it relates to Czar and their body composition and what they can do. Uh, I think he's going to be a really, really strong player in our league. What that means. I don't know. He hasn't put on practice uniform, much less a game uniform. Jimmy Butler is someone to run, and all the incoming players should model themselves after. Last season, Butler came in and took Marquette by storm, quickly establishing himself as a hardworking do-it-all player. By the time Big East action rolled around, Butler had become the team's sixth man. Burning question number five. Will Jimmy Butler's emergence as a solid bench player last year equal success as a starter this season? He's the only player that's put on a uniform since I've been the head coach that I've signed. Um, and I think that when I signed him, Brad, I had no idea that he would be as good as he was for us in so many different ways so early. The leadership that he saw from those seniors, he probably best absorbed it um, on and off the floor. And I think that that's really carried him through the summer and through the fall. I think that he'll have to score more for us this year, but we just didn't need that last year. So I think he's trending in the right direction for sure. Coming up later in the show, we'll talk with Buzz Williams about the four remaining answers to those eight burning questions you want to know, including what kind of lineup will this Golden Eagle team yield come November 7th? But first, last year's MUTV sports director, Richie Donnelly, went to Bucks practice last weekend. Just a day prior, Dominique James was cut by the franchise, but Richie caught up with head coach Scott Skiles to talk about Dominique's chances of getting back in the league. Hey, 
Golden Eagle fans hoping to see Dominique James play at the Bradley Center will have to wait, at least for now. Yesterday, Milwaukee Bucks general manager John Hammond announced that former Marquette standout was released from the team. James will sign with the team in Europe, but Bucks coach Scott Skiles had nothing but praise to say for the young point guard. Well, he's a, he's a very good athlete. He's strong. Um, you know, he can penetrate. Uh, he's an unselfish player. Uh, you know, he's a very, very good on-the-ball defender. Um, so, you know, at, at the right place in the right time, you know, he can make an NBA team at some point, maybe. The other members of the famed Three Amigos are still chasing their NBA dreams. Wes Matthews is currently on the Utah Jazz roster, and Marquette's all-time leading scorer, Jarrell McNeil, is in the Los Angeles Clippers camp. Reporting from the Bradley Center, Richie Donnelly, MUTV Sports. Every year there are numerous preseason rankings that come out for college basketball, and the first ones are out for 2009-2010. Rivals.com, an impressive college recruiting website, has put out their rankings, and Marquette comes in at 83rd in the preseason. MUTV Sports' Donnie Dwyer went to the streets to find out what Marquette fans thought about that ranking, whether or not it was too much, too little, or right on track. In one week, it is Marquette Madness, and before you know it, the season begins. In a recent survey by Rivals.com, out of the top 347 basketball schools, Marquette was ranked 83rd. Also, UWM was ranked 61st and Madison at 40. But I got a chance to walk around campus and ask some people what their opinions are of Marquette being 83, and they really didn't like that. The poll's very surprising. The fact that a lot of people put us under both Madison and UWM, and especially with the recruits that we had, even though a number of them are injured, I still think that overall we have a better program than Madison and UWM. I think Marquette has a tradition of just like being sick at basketball, so we'll win, obviously, over them. Some feel the ranking is justified. I think it's justified. I mean, sometimes it's good to be under the radar, I believe. Uh, in the past, we've kind of you know, we've been in the top 25, and sometimes that's not the best thing. Uh, I do believe that there are going to be somewhere between 8th and 10th in the conference realistically this year, so that's probably about what they had them in the conference. I think we got a pretty good recruiting class coming in, and I think we can, uh, I think we'll come together. I think we're just unproven right now, so I mean, it might be justified just because we, we really don't have any coming, like, talent coming back, but I think we'll probably, by the end of the year, it'll be a lot better than 83rd. Though many students have their own opinions about Marquette basketball, they'll be able to justify those opinions if you come to Marquette Madness next Friday, October 16th. Reporting on Marquette campus, Donnie Dwyer, MUTV Sports. Coming up after the break, I sat down with Dwight Bikes this week for our Golden Eagle Spotlight interview. He's on Twitter and he's really excited about it, but he wants to know, are you following him? Plus. What's up guys? This is Rob Frazina. Coming up after the break, we're going to take a look at all the potential walk-ons next on Marquette Basketball Weekly.